challenger on my right. He is fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring tonight, wearing blue trunks with silver trim and fighting out of Miami, Florida. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His deceptive record stands at 40 wins, 20 losses and 4 draws with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the number 2 IBF Junior welterweight contender. Please welcome the former IBF lightweight champion of the world known as Fearless, Freddy Pendleton. And his opponent across the ring is the defending champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing multi-color trunks, fighting out of and representing Coupe Hanto Puerto Rico. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 147 pounds even. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 28 wins, no losses, 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome one of the young stars of boxing today, making his ninth defense of his title, introducing the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Tito Trinidad. Once again, our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, we have Richard Steele. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again. Obey my commands at all times. If there's any questions, shake hands and good luck. This fight being 20 and 0 at 24 KOs and close to being considered a great champion, the chin of Felix Finnedad remains a question mark. He's been down, but never out. And Freddie Pendleton, he says he's very comfortable at at this weight, telling us this is my weight, 147. He claims he lost the 135-pound title because of his weight. He says he got a raw deal against Rafael Luana. We'll see what happens here. He comes right up, winging, because Freddie Pendleton, the challenger. he got nothing to lose. He said he's going to come out. He's got the heavy punch. And if this kid gets in trouble, if Trinidad gets in trouble, he'll finish him off. We'll see. Trinidad says, because I've been knocked down doesn't mean I have a weak chin. Many great champions have been knocked down. Despite that, Pendleton at 33 with a less than impressive 40 and 24 record. A big underdog, even though he's a former lightweight champ. You know, Pendleton's last fight he fought at 148. Four or five fights over the past two years have been at 147, so he is not a stranger to this weight. And he's comfortable at it. He, you know, he doesn't have to make weight here. He's comfortable. So is Trinidad. I mean, Trinidad has no problem with it. Trinidad feels that, that Pendleton will come out throwing bombs right from the outset. He calls him a serious opponent because of his experience and power, but talk is cheap. Trinidad says, I'm going to explode my bomb first. I don't think this will go to the distance. Well, you can see that Tito has some respect for Frankie's power because he had no respect like when he fought Camacho. He just ran through him, ran through every chance he got. Here he's being very careful. He's not taking too many chances. Well, he's got the example of what happened a few minutes ago right in this ring. Last minute knockout, so he, he knows it can happen to him in one punch. But that's not, I think the problem is, is more, and, and Freddie's fighting a little, a little, um, jinky, uh, or, how can I say it, his eyes are a little bit wide open. Well, 14 of Trinidad's last 15 fights did not go the distance. Only Camacho, as you point out, uh, Bobby has managed to reach the final bell with Felix Trinidad the last five years. Freddie Pendleton has really come into his own over the past four or five years. He's actually been in the ring 12 champions former world, world champions of current, two of them twice. He's had a, a list of who's who in who he's fought, and certainly he's lost a lot of them, but he's really come into his own, he's got a lot of confidence, he's punching better, he's moving better, and I'll tell you what, early on I like his chances to do very well. Uh, he's a seasoned pro, lots of experience, very tough, good ability, hands speed, aggressive, dangerous, but many feel just not the same class as Felix Trinidad. Well, if his nickname's anything to go by, he shouldn't be scared, he should be fearless. 
But I think at this weight, though, Tito's been here for a considerably longer period of time. He's comfortable. He's a big puncher at this weight. And I think that may be the difference, the strength, the youth, and the weight. But he's also 33. Talent and being the championship has nothing to do with it, being a champion, because you fight with such, he fights with such confidence, Bobby. I mean, this guy's never tasted the feet. 20 seconds left for the opening round, scheduled for 12 for the IBF 108 Championship. A very quiet opening round, Tito not opening up here. Here's the first big punch that missed and fearless in his uh, ever charismatic style. Says, hey, what happened there? Taunting Trinidad a little bit, maybe get the young man out of his game. Era mundo para ahí, por favor. Banqueta adelante, banqueta adelante. Mundo para ahí, por favor. La banqueta tiene que subir primero, ahí. All he's saying is, this is his dad, Felix Chandler. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Estamos haciendo la pelea como tiene que ser. Ya me invito, ya me invito, va a empezar a llegar ese ya. No te cuides. Él va a seguir haciendo maromero, pero ya sí que él es un maromero, padre, macho, para macho, algo así más o menos. ¿Tú me entiendes? Pero ya me invito. He comes forward. You see what he's trying to do? You think we saw in the tape? He steps forward. You almost caught him. That'll get him, baby. You listen to me, that'll get him. Keep your hands up, get out small. Okay. Don't raise your head up. Okay. One more deep breath. Give me another one. Shoot the nose out the mouth. It's your fight. It's your fight. You're faster, you're stronger. Second out. One round of the books, the proverbial feeling out round. As uh, there wasn't too much scoring going on. Here we go, round number two. Yeah, that was about as uneventful as we can expect. Trinidad basically fights every fight the same hard and in dominating fashion. He feels more motivated now because now he's a target. He says he's just got too much at stake. He ended that first round with a wild punch that missed, and fearless Freddie Pendleton tried to taunt him. But that's not going to affect Trinidad. Pendleton was stopped by Frankie Randall way back in 85. Once again in 88 by a guy named John Montez. But in the past eight years, he has not been stopped, and he's fought some very, very credible opposition. He really has come into his own. I'm, I'm really anxious to see what he can put together here tonight. I've seen him be aggressive, but not effectively aggressive, as in the Giovanni Parisi fight. I've seen him show tremendous heart and courage, too, as in the Daryl Tyson fight, in relation to fight, with the USBA junior by the way, Trump. He's got that flashy reputation in terms of Domina sticking out the tongue. Some feel he may have been humbled by the loss to Rafael Ruelas. But every once in a while he does that tongue thing, which is a huge turnoff to judges and fans and his trainer, Al Bonatti, from uh, Miami. He says he realizes everybody hates it. It's a bad habit, but he says, I'm too quick to get hit. I don't know about too quick to get hit, but maybe too quick to get hit just while the tongue's out. That's the midway point of round two. I think the only guy who can get away with that is Michael Jordan. Yeah, nobody's trying to do this. Right, they are, but they can't get up that high. You know, they feel Freddie's a little quicker in this corner. They turned that one to get off first, use the jab. In time, turned that coming out of some of those big punch combinations. We'll see what happens. Well, Freddie ought to be getting a little bit of confidence because Trinidad has not come out here to wipe out the replacement. He's fighting nice and calm. It's not like he's up, up here to eliminate him in a second, so he should be getting confident. Here's a straight right hand by Felix Trinidad, and, and uh, the gesture as if to say, that's all you got for Freddie Pedal. He said, for now. <laughs> so we got for now. Later, more to come later. Uh, that, that argument raged in it, uh, whether the tongue sticking out was right. and he said, you know, I've never been hit yet. I said, when you do get hit, it is not going to be anything but stars and stripes. Well, you're going to see some stars. Bobby, uh, your instant analysis of Trinidad here in the early going. Well, you know, right now Trinidad is, is a little bit pensive. He's a little bit careful, maybe a little too careful, but he's fighting what, what should be a smart fight. He's got to feel out the veteran. He's been in with a lot of right. position, 60 some odd fights. He's got to be a little careful and work what he does best. And this is dangerous as the challenger Pendleton going for the one punch knockout there. Heading for the bell. Open up. Now let's 
staying back. You're staying back, so you got to have to make the fight a little bit more. You're doing good. You're trying to bait him. Into let's, let's see that uh, straight right hand whack, and now watch the tongue. Yeah. See? But that distance is so great, you couldn't you couldn't bridge that with a gun. Apparently, he's with that right hand. Is this taken? I'm telling you. He ain't got that much. Give me this. Deep breath. Keep your hands up. Every time he jabs, jab, double jab him back. Okay. Every time he jabs, counter him back. Okay, with right hands and hooks. All right, you get off first, and if he jabs, you jab back. When Al Benani just said he ain't got that much dirty, and I just looked at each other. <laughs> okay. It was a contest to see whose eyebrows could go up any further. Well, the corner part of their job is to kind of pump you up, and that's one way to do it. Round three. Adelin doesn't seem to be intimidated by your Trinidad speed or power. But Trinidad's one of those guys, Bobby, as you have pointed out in the past, he's not just a welterweight, he's a big welterweight, borderline junior middleweight at 154. He's 5'11", and he's full and he's thick. He'll eventually be a full middleweight at least. Although, watch this round, you notice as we started, Pendleton's stepping in a little bit this time. Trinidad tends to come backward a little bit. Now the mystery with the right. Again, what does it taunt Trinidad, which is a mistake. And it's taken all the lot to get a guy like Felix Trinidad out of his concentration, his focus, his game plan. We may look Lucy Gucci coming in. Right. But he's all business when the bell sounds. Yeah, Felix is all business, and I'm pretty trying to do whatever he can to you know, flush him up a little bit, but it's not working. Trinidad missing with that straight right, connecting with the left, but it was a low blow. Richard Steele says to Trinidad definitely blows up. I'll tell you what, that hook was pretty good. It's a nice, a nice what we call rocking right hand. He countered, he rocked out and fired right in. Hit Trinidad square in the button. A nice combination. Again, the lunging right by the fearless Freddie Pendleton, tied up by Trinidad. Trinidad 28-0 with 24 knockouts, his ninth title defense. Nice left hook to the body by Trinidad. A 33-year-old Pendleton, 40-20-4 with 28 knockouts. His sixth world title fight, former IBF lightweight champion. Great! Wrestling tactics there, Pendleton. Both fighters are fairly quick on the inside to tie the other one up. They don't really want to work there. See Trinidad oh, oh, right on top right. of Pendleton's neck. So Keep it clean. Keep both it fighters are pretty, pretty quick to grab on. Richard Steele. Right. Right. Trinidad. Keep it clean. Trinidad, tremendous puncher with either hand. Also a good boxer. Has been known as mentioned to take his time getting started, but a terrific finisher when he gets his opponent in trouble. <laughs> seen him start holding. Uppercut, right uppercut by Trinidad. A nice left hook counter by Pendleton. It, it, that combination was almost an even exchange. Come break, break. Come back. Final seconds of round three for the IBF welterweight title. There's the foul. Let's go over to the fight doctor, Bernie Pacheco, with the former featherweight champion, Aloy Rojas. So in a stunning upset, stunning because one judge didn't have him winning a single round. The other two had him behind by comfortable margins. Well, Fredo Vasquez stopping Eloy Rojas in the 11th round for the WBA featherweight championship. Here we are in the IBF runaway championship by round four. Well, I thought Rojas was way ahead myself, but you know, 10 or 10 and a half rounds is not a fight make. As we discovered. Pendleton still standing in front of Trinidad, a dangerous strategy. Trinidad's a worker. He'll put punches together. Oh, oh, oh. Was oh, oh yeah. down. Keep it up. You're holding him down, okay? Keep him up. Richard Steele does the cautioning. Hold 
Edelman looking to dig to the body of Wardle, swing and a miss with a left hook by fearless Freddie Pendleton. That's the second warning for low blows given by Richard Steele to Felix Trinidad. A couple of those hooks just going a little south of the border. Usually Trinidad makes his opponent pay when they miss. We'll see what happens here. The action heating up a little bit from before I left. They were just kind of passing when I left. They're down to business now. Trinidad Bobby, a very good counter punch. Bobby, who won the last round? I was gone. The last round was also won by Trinidad, but again, the margins are very, very slim. Not winning by a lot. What we saw in the last round, Freddie Pendleton started to come forward. As he's doing now, he's starting to come forward. Trinidad not necessarily pressing issues all the time. Round four continues. A left hook there by Pendleton. Keep him up, Freddie. Keep him up. Let's fly with a straight right hand. Pendleton opening things up here a bit. He's taking his chances as Pendleton. He's coming straight forward, boring in on Felix Trinidad. Freddie's done some nice work. Oh, the right beat. He counted just like that right hand, Steve. Beautiful straight right by Freddie Pendleton. Freddie throwing everything he's got on those punches. He's trying to hit a home run. He tagged it with another right. But unfortunately for Pendleton, no Trinidad was moving backwards. Well, I know he got Tito's attention, that I'm sure. Yeah, all of a sudden, Trinidad looking a lot more intense than before. Combination by Trinidad. And a nice punch underneath, even though it was low. It was low. Richard Steele did not say it. Now, here comes Trinidad. Pendleton gave me the impression a little bit that he might be a little hurt. His legs didn't look under him, but I haven't seen any really clean blows. Well, that was a body shot, and I think he little caved in a little bit. That's right. Not much, but that's Come the first on. indication. Heavy to the bow. Round four is over. Okay. 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 Well, here you see a low blow, too. You know, he just takes him, he digs him up, he just throws it out. Yeah, there Freddy is. pulled his head down, but he just let it go, and it went loud. Yeah, he did, but Pendleton comes back fighting. I mean, you know, this was a good round, the best round for Pendleton, because he's trying so hard to land that right hand, and he did a couple of times. He caught Tino's attention, I'll say that. A little more sense of urgency in that Trinidad corner as we head into round number five. Pendleton's corner yelling at him to go to the body and counter punch between rounds. Round four was Pendleton's best round yet. You know, he landed some really big bombs there. I gave him an even round. I did too. Right north toward the end, Tito started to take over the round. And let's see what happens now as round five starts. Get a little taunting there by Pendleton as Trinidad with a little head fake, a little stutter step, but he hasn't thrown. He's waiting. There it is. A lunging straight right by Trinidad. He tries to go right over the jab if he can. Trinidad's got trigger fast reflexes, which is what all the great fighters have to have. I mean, when he's in front of you, it's like a spring. Oh, nice uppercut. The right uppercut by Trinidad is twisting. Watch the head. Great. Watch the head. Watch the steel doesn't want any cut. No headbutts here. No technicalities. Trinidad, very confident. Freddie Pendleton pulls away on that right hand very well. He like rolls with that punch, minimizing the power. And he's got to stay out of that range. Trinidad bobbing and waving, looking for the opening. Very patient. But Bobby, that punch is getting close and close. Oh, here we go! Pendleton's down! What a shot! Right before Pendleton oh. went down, he went back to the corner of Dick. Something yeah. was wrong and he shook his head. Down. That hit with a left hand. Hey. He's not getting up. He looked over he the corner, he goes down and it's over! It's over here in round five. Felix Trinidad retains his title. Another questionable finish. It's a strange finish. What was that? He looked at the corner. He went to the, over to the corner, looking almost directed at us where his corner was there. And he shook his head no in a distressed look on his face. And he shook his head no. And I went to stop the window myself. And, and he hit one, body, one body shot hit him. He must have, you know, a broken rib or some kind of pain to him because I didn't see any damage to him that, that occasion. That prior to this, no, I didn't see it. 
Okay. What a powerful left hook to the body of Freddie Pendleton. I can't wait till you uh, get to talk to him to find out. I, I hope we get to talk to Pendleton because I, that requires an explanation. Let's see.